Did you do that filigree yourself? What do you got, Celtic knotwork? Did you do that Celtic knotwork? Uh, no, no, that's actually a historic R from the Book of Celts. And it was just too beautiful. I mean, I had it cleaned up and stuff a little bit, you know, by mm -hmm. someone on the computer, but it was an R that when I saw it, I said, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> it was one of the most beautiful letters in the Book of Celts. Sometimes things are just given to you, you know? <laughs> guy who, you know, probably designed it, he's not worried about collecting on royalties. Because it was 700 years ago or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a good time with that letter. I mean, all the letters were pretty superb, but that one was really, I think, one of the most artistic he had done. Artistic? Artistic! <laughs> I had it modified a little bit. I had the little wing put underneath right here mm -hmm. uh, because it was squared off like that mm -hmm. with the same pattern there. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is it'll always look unlevel. So you got to make something crooked uh, so that it always looks like it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a philosophy? Yeah, I like that philosophy. It works. <laughs> Make it cricket so it looks like it's right. That's right. Because you'll never, there's nothing to compare it to, you know, there's no angle or anything to make it right. So if you put on a squared off R, what happens is it looks like it's always wrong. Yeah, that's a beautiful R. And it really is. 